everyone and welcome back for another Cook's Corner. I am Dawn from Cucina Aurora down in Salem, New Hampshire, where we make our fabulous infused olive oils. I'm sure you've seen them around someplace. Um, so I'm making a really interesting dish today. I'm going to make you a pasta with pancetta and fiddleheads. I know we had a couple of friends over at WMUR who were interested in how to cook fiddleheads and so I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a peek of what I do with them. Uh, so I've actually just browned up some pancetta which is like a thick cut Italian bacon um, but it takes a long time so I did it before we started rolling and in the pancetta uh, remains basically in the pan I'm going to put some chopped up onions and of course a healthy amount of garlic. So we've got our garlic and our onions in the pan cooking in the uh, the little bit of fat left over from the pancetta and we just want to sweat that for a couple of minutes. Um, you can hear it start to sizzle, you want it to start to become aromatic and you definitely want the onions and the garlic to start to soften. Now that our onions and our garlic have cooked down a little bit and gotten nice and soft, I'm going to add my fiddleheads. Now, if you don't know what fiddleheads are, they're actually the tops of ferns. They are edible, but you want to make sure that you blanch them or boil them for a couple of minutes before you put them in the pan. Um, otherwise, uh, they could give you a bellyache. They're not meant to be eaten raw. So make sure that you do that. I'm just going to put them right in there. Watch them sizzle. These are blanched. I blanched them earlier today. And Blanche was my favorite golden girl, so let's just put that out there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just saute those guys up. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So garlicky, so delicious. And I'm just going to add a little squirt of fresh lemon juice. Delicious. That's going to brighten up those flavors. Now I've got some pre-cooked pasta, and I'm just going to dump that right in here. And I've reserved a little bit of the pasta water. That's going to help us create a little bit of a sauce. Now comes the great part, a little bit of Cucina Aurora roasted garlic oil. This is going to add tons of flavor and everything you need is already in that bottle. So you've got your garlic, a little salt and pepper, a little uh, red pepper flake. And we are just going to toss this all up until that sauce reduces a little bit. Now as the sauce is reducing, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. We know we love Parmesan cheese. It's also going to thicken it up a little bit. Oh my goodness, that smells delicious. And for the finishing touch, we're going to add that crispy pancetta that we cooked up beforehand. So now that this has all been tossed together, you can see that the sauce, it's kind of created its own sauce, which is delicious. Uh, garlicky, lemony, nice and fresh. This makes a really great uh, summer pasta dish. You can actually, if you don't have fiddleheads, because by the time this episode airs, those fiddleheads might be out of season, you can do this with asparagus or green beans. And we're gonna just put it right in our pasta bowl. Look at that, wow, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Now I used gluten-free pasta for this, and of course you could use regular pasta. This recipe will be found on our website at cucinaaurora.com. And of course, you can buy all of our olive oils there. You can buy my new cookbook there. If you happen to be local to Manchester, of course, you can find our products in the Manchester Craft Market. And of course, at cucinaaurora.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.